Modal analysis is the typical starting point of a dynamic analysis. It's the most fundamental of all dynamic analysis types. Essentially, it looks for the natural frequencies of a structure. Have a look at this recreational drone propeller and four of its natural frequencies or modes. The propeller exhibits various bending and twisting modes of deformation. The significance of these modes and mode shapes we will continue to explore throughout this section. Now, modal analysis is the common dynamic simulation for many other dynamic simulations, and it gives engineers an idea how the design will respond to different types of dynamic loads. All structures have natural frequencies, and it's often the most important feature of the structure especially in dynamics. Looking at this guitar or tall tower, what can we expect of their nature to vibrate naturally? Will it be fast? Will it be slow? What kind of shapes can we expect? When doing modal analysis, one thing we often check is if certain natural frequencies of structure coincide with any dynamic loading. If so, resonance behavior is expected in the structure and the structure may even fail. Let's have a look under the hood of this old car. We can see the engine is vibrating. Depending on the design and dynamics of the mating parts, parts may be excited at the natural frequencies of the engine vibration. If this happens, it can cause unwanted noise and vibration and even lead to premature failure of the components. By knowing the natural frequencies of a component, we can design them to avoid specific ranges to prevent resonance. What's another reason we care about the structure's natural frequencies? It helps us understand more complex behavior and more complex dynamic simulations are based on the natural frequencies. Here we see a wind turbine. How will the wind turbine blades react to wind gusts? The wind excitation of the blade is random in nature, and the study of this type of dynamics is called random vibration because the excitation and response will be random and we will need to use statistical means to compute the expected vibration of the blade. But looking at this wind blade, what deformation shapes can we expect? And do we think that one particular shape will dominate? Let's think of the blade as a cantilever beam, which is fixed at the base. By running a modal analysis, we can answer these questions. Here we see the first or primary flapwise bending mode. Now we see the first edgewise bending mode and here is the second flapwise bending mode. There are actually many more modes, but right now we're just looking at the first few. Now the dynamic response of the blade to the wind will be a combination of the natural frequencies with varying amounts of contribution from each of the modes, as in the random vibration simulation of the blade we briefly touched upon. We'll go more in depth on the topic of modal analysis in that lesson as we'll explore more advanced topics on dynamics, such as our lessons on mode superposition and harmonic analysis.